split and uh, it is said uh, it is printed in english version coronavirus covid 19 19 precautionary measures to take in a simple english simple language we have uh, drafted 11 points and this has been uh, translated in transcript translated in all naga local languages you will find here kemongyan like this zimi liangmai tinidi puchuri chang like that ao lotha semas all this in all these languages we have printed a copies a volume of one one lakh copies and uh, this has been circulated by our party functionaries distributed to all the remote areas and uh, you know with the expense of the party the expenditure was borne by the mlas from the you know, salaries of our mlas the nbf legislators have donated a little bit from their monthly salaries to the party and therefore we have come up with an idea that uh, we have to print out this and circulate to all the local languages this is how this party has been contributing a little bit whatever we can to help strengthen the fight against coronavirus COVID-19 so from the party side uh, I think we are not lacking on our, on our side uh, on our part and uh, uh, we have done so and definitely we will continue to do more if uh, it is you know it is so required uh, yesterday's in the press I, we have seen in today's paper that the government has already imposed for 144 CRPC in Dimapur. I think uh, it's a commercial town where you know the population is uh, uh, comparing to other towns and cities in Nagaland it is uh, very high in number and uh, the railway station is there the flight uh, you know, the airport is there and there, there are lots of you know interstate pass terminals and I think uh, uh, it is in campaign about the uh, the present government to go to that extent, the district administration. As far as that exercise is concerned, I think uh, for the time being we welcome that idea. That's uh, it's not a bad idea. It's uh, uh, I think uh, it's for the safety of everyone. We have uh, no qualms against that, uh, but uh, it has to be very judiciously uh, implemented. It it should not be put you know to harass the people and therefore. That part also I would like to uh, put across our party's stand on this. Uh, if you recall, the uh, party has earlier demanded the installation of the uh, sample testing center in Nagaland because uh, we were informed and we are aware that the only available facilities for such sample dance testing as far as COVID-19 is concerned at the moment is the nearest station is Kohati and therefore our, our people Financially speaking, as well as even from transportation point of view, from the distance point of view, it is rather very difficult for our people to go and avail the facilities. And therefore, we have demanded, uh, you know, as early as uh, 16th March, today is 24th. We have not heard from the government whether any of such samples, uh, sample testing centers have been already installed. And therefore, we would like to also know from the government whether uh, such uh, center has been already installed and where, and if it is so, where it has been installed, what will be the cost, how the public will you know, avail the facilities. These are a few points we would like to also raise to the government uh, on this uh, situation. Uh, now, another point which I wish to raise is about the, you know, our people, especially those people who are stranded outside the state of Nagaland. How, what kind of steps the government are, are, is, has, has taken so far and uh, there's a lot of reports, even, you know, uh, no, uh, racial, dis uh, racial discrimination on this issue. That, that since we look like Chinese, the people in the mainland started, you know, abusing our people, you know, in, a, uh, in many ways. And, uh, you know, uh, trying to socially segregate them. I think this is one concern which we would like to raise to the government of the day, the DDA government what steps they are taking and uh, is there any communication with the central government or any of the states where these are happening is there any communication and what are the steps they have taken and they are taking so this is also one concern area of concern which uh, we would like to raise to the government uh, i think they, they must answer this uh, vital questions to the people and uh, another concern which uh, breaks our conscience is about our honorable cm announcing that the you know the the 
center, the hotels like Naito Resort and uh, the cricket stadium will be used for what? What is that called? Isolation. Isolation. I, and uh, they also mentioned that uh, the, the government would bear the cost. The government would bear the cost. Whoever availed that opportunity in Naito Resort and then the uh, cricket stadium. Uh, we would like to make it very clear. Yes, our appreciation on, I mean, our support on this fight stance. But I think these are a few things which we would like to question the government. What do they mean by government will bear the cost? Number one. Number two, government as of today has a lot of facilities. Like you have a guest house, you have a circuit house, you have a tourist lodge. You have, uh, even in Dimapur, uh, I remember the commissioner guest house, you know. So many government uh, guest houses are there. So many government facilities are there. Why don't we first exhaust those facilities? Why don't we first upgrade such facilities so that uh, no people avail those facilities at the lower cost? Of, no, of course, no doubt, uh, definitely the expenditure involved, but it has to be at a minimum cost. Now, when we say when they say that uh, these two facilities, cricket stadium as well as Naito Resort, will be used. And the government will bear the cost. It is something which you know. It is something which is it's, it's worrisome because the, the 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 exchequer of the state is as it is. We are running on liability. Now, if such is the you know such is the idea that is that that is the, you know uh, being uh, mooted out by the the PDA government, then the, we don't we we also would like to question the motive behind. What could be the motive? I think these are a few things we would like to question because these government facilities, the government hospitals, and there are also enough private hospitals. I think more, uh, you know, aid and assistance should be offered to them first. Find out the possible means. And if, yes, if the, you know, the magnitude of the you know, problem is such that where the, they alone cannot manage, I think, yes, all this private resort, no, private res resort, uh, no, uh, private establishment can be also requisitioned, can be also requested the use. That should be made as a last resort. But if the most expensive hotels, the most expensive places are made the first option, isn't is it not that worrisome for our people? And uh, this is not uh, a time to, you know, uh, you know, uh, of course, we also understand not the time, not, not to, it's not a time for, you know, for us to play politics, we, are, we, are, we also understand that, but at the same time, it is also not a time to do business. Nah? I think we are clear on our stand. 